Hello kindergarten friends, it is Miss Green again here today and I'm so excited that you guys decided to join me for another exciting read aloud of another wonderful story. I hope you guys are enjoying your time at home and of course I miss you all and love you all so much but I'm so excited that we get to stay connected through YouTube. So today we are going to be reading Clifford's first school day. So Clifford looks just like you guys with his crayons and his backpack at school. I'm Emily Elizabeth. Every day, I ride to school on my dog, Clifford. Clifford is too big to go inside. Clifford hasn't been inside a school since he was a tiny puppy. I took him one day for show and tell. All the kids wanted to pet my very tiny puppy. Miss Pearson liked him too, but she said it was time to begin our day. First, she put out the finger paint. I love finger painting. Clifford got right up on the table. He sniffed the yellow paint. Oh my, the jar tipped over. Clifford found out that paint is very slippery. Miss Pearson said Clif Clifford was a good artist. He made a beautiful yellow picture. We couldn't leave Clifford all covered with paint. Miss Pearson thought that some water play might be a good way to get him clean. Tim had made a boat out of a milk carton. Clifford was a perfect captain for the boat. Captain Clifford climbed the mast to look around. And that's how he got the paint off. Look, boys and girls, he was climbing up the mast of the boat and he fell in the water. Miss Pearson dried him off. She said we were going to make cookies next and Clifford could watch. That would keep him out of trouble. While Miss Pearson rolled out the cookie dough, Clifford got curious about the bag of flour. Oops! Clifford made another mess. He tipped over the bag of flour and look at him. He's not even a red dog anymore. He's what? Miss Pearson said it might be a good idea for Clifford to play outside. We all went out to the playground. I thought Clifford would enjoy the slide. He wiggled out of my hands and went down the slide himself. He landed in the sandbox. We helped the kids rebuild their sandcastle. So Clifford fell out of the slide and he landed right in their sandcastle, but it's okay because he is helping them fix it. We made Clifford the king of the castle. He loved that. Then it was lunchtime. I shared my sandwich and dessert with Clifford. He gobbled up his sandwich, but he didn't know how to eat the dessert. Looks like jello to me. It looks like it's slippery. He can't keep it in his paws. Poor Clifford chased the wiggly cubes all over the floor. The other kids thought that was funny. Miss Pearson said it was time for Clifford to go home and have a real lunch. She told me to bring him back to school when he was a little bit bigger. She should see him now. Do you guys think Miss Pearson would like it if Emily Elizabeth brought Clifford back to school even after he's so big? I'm not sure he could fit through the front doors. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for another Read Aloud with Miss Green. I'm so happy that you guys chose to spend time with me today and hope that you are enjoying your time at home. I will see you guys next time for another wonderful story. Bye, kindergarten friends.